Hello, my New Life family. I hope and pray this week that you are just spending some time and reflecting on Holy Week, the week of the passion of Jesus Christ, and you're reflecting on his death, his crucifixion, as we prepare for Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, the greatest miracle known to mankind. Our Savior is alive. Well, I am really excited to be able to come to you as we've been watching our in-person attendance increase. More people are coming back to in-person service, and we're so glad and we're excited to see that. And we know many of you are still watching online, and that's great as also. But I just really want to come and give a special um, uh, announcement to those of you who are coming back to in-person service, especially as we get geared up for our Easter weekend. Um, you know, during COVID, we really put together a very clear process and protocol, and it took us some time to figure out how to make sure we maintain a very safe environment for all of those who are coming back for in-person. And so now, as many of you are beginning to get the vaccine and you're feeling more comfortable with coming back to in-person service, we're starting to see an increase um, in our attendance. We're starting to also see um, a, a very quick registration for in-person service. And so what I'm asking of you is that we just work together in a spirit of cooperation to have a very smooth transition to re-engaging many people back into in-person service. We don't know how long before we'll start adding a second service. We know we're doing the overflow, but I want to um, ask you, make sure you're working with us as we re-engage you back into in-person service. Um, by one, you know, following protocol. Um, in order to kind of maintain a COVID-free environment, uh, we have seating arrangements, temperature check, um, pre-service registration. Um, we dismiss a certain way. Um, we try to minimize a lot of the congregating out in the foyer. And so I know a lot of that is somewhat inconvenient. I know for some of you who are coming back, um, that's new for you, but we've been doing that for the last six months. And uh, I just want to make sure that um, you understand and that you work with us. Uh, depending on what time you come to service, you know, the whole family may not be able to sit together um, in order for us to maintain social distance, physical distance, proper spacing. Some of you, because you've worn your, you got your vaccine, um, you're feeling a little more comfortable not wearing a mask. And so we still follow the mask protocol here. Um, our service hosts and our greeters have been trained. They got very specific guidelines for how to operate on a Sunday morning. We just really want to work with them. We want to make sure that this is an enjoyable experience. So what I ask of you is just as you come back, we're so glad to have you. Um, we're glad that our in-person attendance is increasing. Um, but for this to be a smooth transition and re-engaging you back into Sunday morning, I really need you to work with us, cooperate so that we can have an enjoyable time. This Easter, we have already filled up our uh, 10 o'clock Easter service, filled up in three hours. So if you're planning on coming to that, we're almost full. Uh, no, we are full. <laughs> we're gonna want you now to go ahead and register for the 12 o'clock service or you can watch it online as well. So as we're moving forward, we're working, we're thinking, we're planning, we're praying for how to begin to make the next adjustment to accommodate the demands for our in-service service. service. Um, you may um, want to consider the overflow based on what time you get here or make sure when you register, if it's full, go ahead and do the waiting list because the waiting list will help us determine when it may be necessary to add that next service. So um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your prayers. Let's continue to work together and let's pray and look forward to a great resurrection weekend on this weekend. God bless you and uh, happy Easter.